You're getting pretty tricky, Clyde. <clears throat> On this gorgeous spring day, Screen Rant is taking a look at the films that define Clint Eastwood's career and on screen persona as an all American tough guy. Let's get into it. Eastwood is an undisputed icon of the screen and has been since 1955. Much of his career and persona have been defined by his roles in the Western, starting with his star turn in the Dollars trilogy, directed by Sergio Leone. These films cemented his image as a man of few words and no name who spoke softly and killed at the drop of a 10-gallon hat. Other notable westerns include the musical Paint Your Wagon, the outlaw Josie Wales, and his Best Picture winning neo-revenge western Unforgiven, which did as much to bolster his image as a tough guy cowboy as his early work. Eastwood's starring role in the World War II caper Kelly's Hero had him trade in his six-gun for a Thompson submachine gun as he took up shooting Nazis on the Western Front. He'd continue making war pictures until the late 80s with films like War Eagles Dare and Heartbreak Ridge. Eastwood's Dirty Harry Callahan is perhaps his second best known on-screen persona, which he played across five films. The character is infamous for his iconic one-liner, You could ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Penchant for police brutality and oversized appendage, his 357 Magnum. What many younger film aficionados may not realize is that Clint Eastwood's highest grossing flick was 1978's Every Which Way But Lose, a comedy that saddled the screen icon with an orangutan as he traveled the San Fernando Valley getting into fights for money. It really is a product of its time. Finally, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention his late career efforts, The Bridges of Madison County and Million Dollar Baby, melodramatic efforts that cast Eastwood as lover and mentor, respectively. Million Dollar Baby remains one of Eastwood's most decorated films and may very well have been the apex of his career as a filmmaker. It didn't do too badly at the box office either. Having spent much of his career punching people in the face, it was refreshing to see him take a step back and coach other people on how to do it. 